What's up everybody welcome to another detailed review video today I have this Ule phone note 16 pro this one is a budget device But this one is actually able to compete with many other mid-range devices Well before we go through this review video one request if you end up liking this video Then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel support honest content Okay, here is the box of Ule phone note 16 pro. I really like this vibrant design Yet, it's pretty subtle because this one comes in white color. I mean, the other boxes of Ule phone actually comes in yellow and black color, but this one is a bit different and yeah, definitely this is a pro edition, comes in a pro packaging. Well, on the box they have printed the specifications. Well, we will check the specifications later. Let's quickly do the unboxing. After opening the top lid, the first thing you will have is the smartphone. Underneath the smartphone, there is a SIM ejector tool. There are some paperwork. Yeah, this one comes with a protective case, a TPU silicon protective case. Yeah, look at this, even a budget device comes with a charging brick included inside the box. Ule phone has also provided a very good quality USB A to C charging cable inside the box. Okay, in hand Ule phone Note 16 Pro doesn't feel like a budget device. It definitely feels like a premium mid-range device. Ule phone Note 16 Pro comes with a smooth flat edges and a textured matte glass like back panel yeah this isn't a glass panel but this one feels like a glass panel this panel can show a subtle color shifting palette under different lighting this one comes in three different colors meteorite black serenity blue and midnight violet today i have this midnight violet because i prefer violet one more time i really like this rear panel design especially the rear camera block this one looks premium and elegant Ule Phone Note 16 Pro only weighs 184 grams and this one is only 8.7 mm thick. And yeah, definitely this is one of the lightest smartphones that I have ever used. Well, on top there is nothing, it's a clean slate and at the bottom, you will notice that there is a 3.5 mm port available at the bottom. Beside the 3.5 mm port, there is the primary microphone, there is a USB-C port and a speaker grill. Yeah, Ule Phone Note 16 Pro comes with a bottom firing loudspeaker. We will talk about the speaker performance later. Well, the SIM tray is actually located on the left side. This Ule Phone Note 16 Pro comes with a hybrid SIM tray. That means we can expand storage up to 256 GB. Volume rockers and power buttons are on the right side. The fingerprint sensor is actually integrated into the power button. Truly, it's really an amazing touch that they have added extra spatial textures on the volume rockers. Well, here comes the specifications of this Ule Phone Note 16 Pro. If you want, you can pause the video and check the specifications one by one. Ule Phone Note 16 Pro comes with 6.52 inch HD plus water drop screen. Yeah, this one comes with 720 by 1600 pixels resolution and all the standard display features are available inside the settings. Well, most of the time I talk like black is truly dark, white is pretty bright and colors are vivid and vibrant. But this one is different. I am totally surprised. I've never even expected a HD plus screen would be able to reproduce colors like this. The performance is tremendously well. This one has managed to reproduce true to life colors. Yeah, colors are neither vibrant nor too pale. It's almost very natural. Even if this one is a HD plus panel, there isn't no pixelation and everything is so sharp and smooth. And it's really a great device to enjoy entertainment. Talking about entertainment, even playing games on this display panel is pretty much enjoyable. Well, as I've mentioned earlier, this one comes with a bottom firing single loudspeaker. Let's listen to some music and you decide how is the performance. Okay, maybe this segment is the thing that I have worried about the most. Can we play games on a device like this? Ule Phone Note 16 Pro comes with a Uni SoC T606 8-core processor. Well, I have even managed to play Genshin Impact on this Ule Phone Note 16 Pro without any issue. This smartphone has offered very smooth and enjoyable gaming session. So yeah, if you are looking for a budget device which offers a very stable performance, then definitely Ule Phone Note 16 Pro is the one that you should choose. I have been playing Real Racing 3 on this one for like 1 or 2 hours a day and I have always felt like the performance is above satisfactory level. Like this one is comparable to many other mid-range devices. 
this one offers very good performance because this one comes with 8 GB of RAM and yeah, we can even expand our RAM up to 8 GB. Another thing is Inui SoC T606 is one of the coolest SoCs available on the market that never gets hot. That's why this device is always able to offer very stable performance throughout the gaming session. It doesn't matter whether you are playing for 10 minutes or a few hours. I must say kudos to Ulefon because they have managed to extract the best performance from this device. Ulefon Note 16 Pro comes with a Samsung Isocell JN1 50MP main sensor. Yeah, there is another 2MP macro sensor. If you like to take macro photos, then you may like that too. But let's check these photos. I have taken some photos side by side with this Ulefon Note 16 Pro and a Poco device which costs twice of this Ulefon Note 16 Pro. And the performance of Ulefon Note 16 Pro is way better than the Poco device. I'm not surprised this time. I'm overwhelmed. What do you think? What's your thoughts and ideas about the camera performance of this Ulefon Note 16 Pro? I'm ready to give 10 out of 10 for camera performance considering this one belongs to a budget segment but has managed to perform like a very good mid-range smartphone. Ulefon Note 16 Pro comes with a 4400 mAh battery. This one offers up to 277 hours of standby time, talk time of up to 24 hours. We can use this one continuously for 13 hours to watch TikTok videos and yeah, even we can play games on this one for hours after hours. I've managed to extract up to 9 hours of screen on time on a very busy day and that's really a very good thing because even most of the flagship devices wouldn't offer me more than 7 hours of screen on time. This one comes with a 10 watt charger bundled inside the box and yeah, this one only supports 10 watt of charging. But the charger is a very good quality one and this phone doesn't take a long time to get fully charged. Ulefon Note 16 Pro comes with Android 13 out of the box and this one comes with stock Android. There isn't no skin so this one is as smooth as it can be. And Ulefon offers a few years of major Android update. So yeah, definitely we are safe with this Android 13 on this smartphone. I have already mentioned earlier, Ulefon Note 16 Pro comes with a side mounted fingerprint sensor. This old school fingerprint sensor performs like a beast. It's really very easy to register fingerprints and once the fingerprints are registered, this phone gets unlocked so very fast through that fingerprint sensor. Yeah, if you are interested, there is a 2D face unlock option available and that one also works pretty fine. Very fast and very smooth. There isn't no issues, so no complaints. Well. There are a few other things I need to mention before I wrap up this video. Number one, Ulefon offers a very good customer support. I mean, most of the other brands which offers budget devices, they don't even have any customer support. It's either right or wrong. You either be happy with your device or if you have any issues, you have to throw the device. But Ulefon always offers very good customer support and the second thing is, even if this isn't a rugged smartphone, I have accidentally dropped this smartphone twice and nothing happened. Zero scratch, zero damage. Number three, this phone offers the best value for money among all the devices within its price segment. If you consider gaming performance, camera performance, display performance, then you will forget about the specifications because real life performance matters. That's why I like this device. This one not only have a very good outlook and appearance, this one has this elegant and unique vibe. So yeah, I think this one actually has the best outlook and appearance among all the budget devices. Well, I would like to know what you think about this Ulefon Note 16 Pro. Don't forget to make a comment and let me know in the comment section below. Also, I have left a link of this Ulefon Note 16 Pro in the description box below. Go ahead, check the link, check the product. But before everything, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content.